In this video, I'm going to talk about BitTensor. BitTensor is one of AI crypto coins. It's actually a parachain on Polkadot and there's not much information on the internet. So I decided to gather everything I can and do that from the perspective of uh, AI as well as crypto. So basically what uh, BitTensor is doing is it's trying to decentralize machine learning computation, at least in certain direction. Uh, if we go to the uh, learn page or the white paper, you'll be able to see that uh, BitTensor is an open source protocol that powers decentralized blockchain based machine learning network. Machine learning models train collaboratively and are rewarded in Tau according to the informational value they offer the collective. So basically what that means actually, and I wanted to really understand that. And if you go uh, then later on is it means that either the validators or the team are actually choosing the, the problem that they want to be solved. Right now it's uh, the, the problem with the text, the, the GPT-2 problem. They're trying to train the GPT-2 architecture uh, the, the best they could. And basically miners are rewarded for training GPT uh, model the best they could, uh, measured by the loss function, so the classical uh, the cl classical loss function from machine learning. Uh, so it's really similar actually to how you might think about decentralized Kaggle. So if you don't know Kaggle, uh, Kaggle is like super famous uh, competitions online for uh, data science and machine learning, where different companies actually can give you a particular task, a particular data set. Uh, one of the most famous ones was uh, a competition from from Netflix, Netflix, uh, I think paid something like a $1 million to the, to the winners for giving them the best algorithm for uh, searching for the next recommendation for the next show that they, that the user can watch on Netflix. That was pretty cool. Uh, you can see everything because uh, Kaggle is pretty much uh, open when it comes to the data sets, to the competition. So it's a great resource for uh, actually learning uh, machine learning for uh, learning practically data science. So if you want to go into that direction, definitely check out Kaggle. And uh, in my view, uh, BitTensor is actually doing pretty similar. This might be the direction that they might take at some point because they want to have sub networks training models in particular directions. So right now it's mo mostly LLMs, uh, language, uh, large language models, uh, but th with, uh, with GPT-2, uh, of course, going forward with uh, GPT-3 and other transformer kind of architecture for, for machine learning networks. That might be the idea here, here, but I really like the fact that you can decentralize uh, training of the machine learning model chosen previously and uh, do that uh, in, in a way that the miners actually compute uh, the, the, the model for you. So this is what's happening on the Tensor network right now. And training this model uh, actually is rewarded with Tau. This is how you mine Tau. Uh, the, the Tau itself is uh, already uh, decided to be the supply uh, 21 million uh, Tau tokens. So the same as with Bitcoin. Uh, BitTensor is very large, so no tokens were pre-mined. Uh, I think team is very careful about not being a security, so they uh, themselves do not have pre-mined anything. There's no like new tokens for the team or stuff like that. Everything is being mined and everything is being mined by uh, providing GPU computing power, uh, trying to optimize machine learning models. Uh, all in all, a pretty cool idea. Uh, you have the tutorials of how to run it. Uh, just just a word on that because if you want to, uh, if you have an idle GPU, that probably won't be enough to actually run it. I think to be competitive right now, what I've seen from the chats on the Discord, uh, you will need to have at least something like 100 GPUs. Uh, so either you have already that kind of uh, that ki kind of equipment, or the best next idea is actually to run everything on the cloud. Uh, again. That's less, uh, th this is definitely more expensive than just running it yourself on the, uh, on the cloud. So uh, BitTensor is not really suited for, uh, you know, r running any kind of uh, machine learning model. And it's not like anyone can come with a machine learning model and some miner will uh, train that model for them. Uh, this is for very specific problems, very specific uh, models chosen uh, before. And right now it's uh, GPT-2. So this is what's happening with with Tao. So again, because everything is uh, so uh, decentralized, there's no really an exchange where you can buy it, or maybe there is something and I will show you in a moment. But basically the idea is that 
there, there's no uh, major exchange that have listed Tao to a certain extent. So the only way you can do that is either OTC or doing one of the smaller exchanges built by the community, not by the BitTensor team. So TaoStats.io is probably the best resource right now I could find about uh, Tao. It gives you a bunch of links where, first of all, you can see the price actually uh, and the market cap currently of all the, uh, of all the tokens. So this is pretty cool already. Uh, you can see uh, this is the average price from all, all the uh, OTC uh, and uh, Tensor Exchange. Tensor.exchange is another place where you can buy actually BitTorrent. Uh, and this is, uh, th th those are two places where uh, the average is taken from to give you the chart. Uh, moreover, there, those are the places where you can do uh, something. Actually, you can buy Tau on Uniswap uh, because there's a wrapped version. There's a bridge built by a community, which means it comes with a risk of being, you know, always can be turned off to a certain extent. So uh, the, the people on Discord uh, recommend that you, if, if you want to buy on Uniswap, wrap Tau, then you buy there and then use the bridge right away to actually uh, have everything on your wallet, on Tau, on BitTorrent. Uh, be tensor uh, because uh, you, you want you want to be on the safe side here. Then there's a tensor exchange where a very simple exchange for buying, and of course you can also always buy OTC on the Discord. Uh, so OTC means over the counter. So this is basically it for the uh, for 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 the Tao. Uh, go to the TaoStats.io. I will provide the link down below. Uh, there are different uh, interesting stuff here uh, for staking, for how to earn Tau, for, for tokenomics. Uh, it's a really cool website. Uh, for the bit tester itself, I, the project is really still early on, so there's a lot to be built on. Uh, I, I really like looking forward to what they will build next. I think it can really turn into some kind of a decentralized Kaggle uh, and also uh, where, where you actually collaborate with uh, bigger companies to provide them the best models possible. Uh, this might be the, the, the business model here, uh, but it's all in the, in the making right now. It's super early. So for everything else, of course, subscribe to the channel. I tend to cover AI crypto coins, but also other crypto coins, DeFi, NFT collections, new blockchains, new protocols, and everything uh, interesting in crypto. So subscribe and see you in the next video.